When I think about investing in its most essential form, there are really two sides of the coin. One side is what you're investing in, what it is that you want to endorse with your dollars that you hope to see flourish and contribute to the world somehow. The other side of that same coin is why you're investing in the first place. And this side of the coin almost always involves some element of planning for the future, planning for your own future, the future of your family. And when it comes to future planning, nature has some really cool examples for us. One of these examples is the plain old squirrel. I just came from down the street and there are millions of them storing up nuts right now as we go into the winter season. This is a really familiar sight to many of us looking around our, our parks or our woods. Uh, and yet there's a lot that we don't know about squirrels and how they actually plan for the future. Many people for many uh, decades have assumed that this is kind of a random process. The squirrels are getting colder, they gather all the nuts that they can, and they hope to find them when the time is right. But the more we studied squirrels, the more we find out there's actually a really sophisticated set of mechanisms at play here. One of those mechanisms is that the squirrels actually distinguish between which acorns they're storing and which acorns they're eating. It turns out that the white oak tree has acorns that are really tasty, um, but they don't last very long. And so the squirrels tend to eat more of the white oak acorns that they find. Red oak acorns, on the other hand, kind of like red grapes, are really high in tannin. They last longer through the winter. They probably don't taste quite as good. The squirrels actually store more of the red oak acorns. So they're making this great asset allocation decision, if you will, in planning for the future. They're deciding which nuts to harvest now and which nuts are gonna be better later on in the season. This is something I'm not sure we always consider as investors when we're planning for the future. This idea that some things probably should be shorter term in duration in our investment world and some things are really gonna be better the longer that you keep them. So it turns out we can learn a lot from those squirrels. They are not nuts.